Gil, we're really focused on addressing climate change in the Puget Sound region. And to that end, one of the new efforts that we're embarking on is the development of a, a regional action plan. These are plans that are funded by the U.S. Uh, Environmental Protection Agency, whereby the region really focuses on the implementation to address climate. We're going to be working with our region's clean air agency and a number of local governments to be able to develop this climate action plan for the region. I'd really love to have your thoughts on how best we can address climate change in the region, particularly uh, uh, focused on the transportation sector of the economy. Well, the best way that transportation can support climate change efforts is by not having trips. <laughs> How do you do not having trips? Well, having a more dense region. Mm. And when we're talking about density, people say, oh, but that's not transportation. No. Land use and transportation are two sides of the same coin. They are totally interwoven. And I think that you should be very proud because it's one of the few regions that is working on both issues at the same time. So once you decide that, that all of the population growth is going to be within the existing footprint, that is the best you can do. Mm -hmm. Then ideally is to try to have as many trips walking or riding bicycles or in public transit. For example, in the U.S., more than half of total trips are less than three miles. Many of those could be done walking or riding bicycles if there is safe infrastructure. And by the way, when you eliminate many of those trips, is going to be fantastic for climate change, but it's going to be good also for public health because the quality of the air is going to be better. So then it's good for mental health, for physical health, but it's also good for economic development because many of the people that have a choice where to live, they want to live in places where they are walkable and bikeable and have public transit and better quality of air and where they don't need to be terrified that their children might be killed while walking to school or to the park. So I, I think that, that that is possible, but more than anything is what you're already doing. Land use planning and transportation at the same time, interwoven as two sides of the same point. 